Hi there. My name is Anri Easters and I'm the Chief Operations Officer of Legal Suite Software. Today I'm going to show you some shortcuts, tips, tricks and traps in Legal Suite that you can use to capture data and to navigate the program more effectively. The topics we will be looking at are going to include first of all snapshots, then quick date capture, lookup libraries, default matter descriptions, and lastly, I'm going to give you some hotkeys that can be used in Legal Suite. Let's have a look. Our first topic will be snapshots. Let me start off and explain to you what are snapshots. Snapshots are used to, de to set defaults on matters. It's basically like taking a picture of a matter which you can use over and over again to take on new matters. New matters will automatically have the settings you have specified in the snapshot. Right, what exactly does this mean? You might be a collection secretary that have to take on your own files and because of the nature of the work that you do, a lot of the files that you take on will have similar settings or the same settings, like the collection commission might have to be set on 10% for all of those matters or the document set might have to be match called for all of your matters. Um, a snapshot is going to remember what your matter looks like that you take on and then the next time you take on a new matter it can repeat and you use the same settings on your new matters that you take on. Let me show you in Legal Suite how that works, what I'm talking about. Right, this is the desktop that I'm sure uh, you're very familiar with. What you will do if you go to insert a new matter, I'm going to be inserting a new matter, You'll see automatically a default on the screen to a variety of settings. For example, I've got fee sheet, African bank, I've got matter type, agency conveyancing, I've got document set, none. But in my example, I'm a collection secretary, so I will have to go through every time I take on a new matter, change my fee sheet to match court, my matter type to collections, and for example, my document set to match court. What I can then do, once I've selected all my settings, and I'm just showing you the general tab, but the same applies to all the other tabs that you can see at the top there, accounting, invoicing, litigation, miscellaneous. Go through, select all the different settings that you require when you insert a new matter, and click on the snapshot button at the bottom left-hand corner that's highlighted with the red arrow. The program will then ask you, do you want to use this matter as your default, which can then assist you by pre-filling fields for you every time you take on a new matter. And then it also says, note you haven't selected a client, which means these defaults will apply to all new matters that you take on. Do you want to use this layout of the matter as your default? So I'm going to say yes. And you'll see then if I go out and I go back to my desktop and I insert a new matter, now when I click on insert a new matter, it's remembering the settings that I asked it to remember when I clicked on snapshot. For example, it's remembered that I want the match court tariff as my fee sheet. It's remembered that my matter type must be collections. And it's remembered that my document set must be magistrate's court. It's important to remember that snapshots are employee specific. In other words, the defaults that I've just set will only apply to my matters and it will not affect other users. It will only apply to mine. So what you need to do is if you've got someone taking on matters on your behalf, if you, for example, have got a secretary that captures your files, it's important that she logs into Legal Suite, fills in an inserting a matter screen with all the settings that she requires, and then clicks on snapshot because it remembers it per employee. So this is what, what I've done here will not affect the other users. What you can also do is set snapshots per client. For example, if I've got APSA Bank who I do conveyancing for, I might have certain settings that I apply every time I take on an APSA Bank matter. But again, it becomes troublesome to remember what settings you require on which matter. So if you're using the snapshots, you can rest assured that your matters are being taken on correctly and consistently and that your data will be correct. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on insert again to add a new matter. But this time I've typed in the client code APSA Bank. Now you'll see Legal Suite actually remembers my settings from my previous snapshot, which says Match Court Tariff, the Matter Type Collections, and the Document Set Magistrates Court. However, as this is a conveyancing client, I want different settings for this client. So I'm changing my fee sheet to conveyancing, I'm changing my Matter Type to Bond Registration, and I'm changing my Document Set to APSA Bank Bonds. Now if I click on Snapshot, 
the program will tell me again that this matter can be set as a default and it will assist you by pre-filling fields for you every time you take on a new matter. However, these defaults will be filled in when taking on matters for this client. In other words, every time I take on a matter for ABS1, these are the settings it's going to remember. And I'm going to click on yes. I want to use this matter as the layout. And now you'll see if I go back to Legal Suite, click on insert, and I type in my client code ABS1, it's now remembered. My fee sheet must be conveyancing, my matter type must be bond registration, my document set must be APSA bank bonds. So snapshots can also be set, in other words, for a particular client. In other words, the defaults I've just set will only apply to new matters for this client. So in other words, if you leave that field blank, it will do it for all your matters. If you do fill in a client code when you click on snapshot, it will remember those defaults specifically for that client. And like I said, snapshot, we've just looked at the general tab but the same applies for the accounting tab. If you, for example, want to set a specific collection commission for all your matters, you can do that. Likewise, for example, on the invoicing tab. If you've got a specific client where you do specific invoicing for, they might only require pro forma accounts or they might require no invoicing. You can set that, click on snapshot, and it will remember it every time you take on a new matter. The benefits of snapshots is it definitely saves you time, it ensures accurate data capture, and it also ensures the consistency of the settings among similar matters. And it's especially useful if you employ a clerk or you have someone taking on matters on your behalf, because you can just rest assured that the program will help them to take on your matters more accurately. Right, the next section we're going to be looking at is a little tip I want to give you on capturing dates quickly in Legal Suite. Often when you work in Legal Suite, you are required to complete a date or to fill in a date field. A lot of the time the date obviously will default to today's date and often you don't need to change the date. But when you do, especially in, on the accounting side, if you're capturing a lot of transactions and, and a lot of them are for previous dates, you're sitting capturing transaction after transaction and you're having to fill in different dates. I'm going to show you a little tip on how you can capture these dates quickly into Legal Suite. I'm going to use just the inserting a matter screen again, the date constructed field, but the same applies for any date field in Legal Suite, be it on the bookkeeping site, file notes, reminders, anywhere where you see a date field in Legal Suite, the same principles apply. Now the date currently on this field is the 16th of July 2013. Let's say, for example, I want to change this date to the 13th of July 2013. A lot of users think that they have to type in the complete date, in other words, 130713, to get Legal Suite to fill in the date, 13th of July 2013. This is not the case. All you need to do is type in the day of the month. If it's in the current month, all you have to do is type in the day. So I'm just going to type in 1, 3, let's just go back to it, 1, 3, and tab, and you'll see Legal Suite automatically completes the rest of the date for you. It's the same result with fewer keystrokes. So all you have to do is type in the day. If the date you are filling in is falling in the current month, all you have to do is type in the day and press tab, and it will automatically complete the rest of the date for you. If now, for example, it falls within a different month, same story, you have to type in the day and the month, 1308, and it will automatically complete the rest of the date for you. So if the date falls in a different month, enter the day and the month, and the year will be automatically completed. Just another tip, while we're on that screen, um, a lot of users phone and saying they're not happy with the format of their date. It might be the wrong way around. It might be year, month, date. Remember, Legal Suite is a Windows application, so it will get the format of your date from the regional settings on your physical computer, on your PC. So if you go to your control panel, go to regional settings, the format of the date that you've selected there is how Legal Suite will display your date. Then lastly, as far as dates are concerned, you'll also notice the red arrow pointing at the little calendar lookup button. You'll be familiar with that from other programs like Outlook. If you click on that, it brings up your calendar, your month calendar. You also can use that to select your date. So I'm currently on the 17th of July, 
if I click on the 26th of July, it will automatically fill in the 26th of July for me. So that's the second way that you can also capture dates. Right, let's have a look now at lookup libraries. What are lookup libraries? In Legal Suite, you are often required to insert text, for example, when capturing file notes. You might have to capture quite often during the day a file note that says the debtor's phone for balance or client's phone for progress report. In other words, often this text is very repetitive. Legal Suite allows you to build up what we call a lookup library to store repetitive text entries to save you time when entering data. Let's have a look at Legal Suite what I'm talking about. I'm going to go from my desktop to my file note screen and I'm going to insert a new file note, a screen I'm sure you're all very familiar with. Now if I want to type in a file note that says the telephone, uh, the client phone for progress support, I'm going to have to type out that text, telephone call to client. And again, like I said, if this is a repetitive entry that you're making, you might want to make use of our lookup library, which is indicated with a red arrow and it's circled at the moment on the right-hand side of your screen. You can also access your lookup libraries by pressing control and up arrow. Control and up arrow also will take you into your lookup library. Now you'll see there's some text entries in my lookup library, which is already available for me to use, but there's no one called telephone call to client. So if I click on the add text button, which is highlighted by the red arrow, I can click on that and it will add that text, telephone call to client, into my lookup library for future use. So I click on select, and that text is now available. So what that means is, if I go out of there and I click on insert to add a new file note, the next time I have to add a file note that says telephone call to client, I can simply go to my lookup library, select telephone call to client, and it will add the file note for me. So remember, anywhere in Legal Suite where you are required to fill in text, anywhere where there's a text block, it's either indicated by the red arrow on the right-hand side, or you can press Control and up arrow to access the Lookup Library. And do yourself a favor, add your repetitive text entries into the Lookup Library to save you from having to retype them. Right, another thing I want to show you today, which will assist you to navigate the program a little bit more effectively and a little bit more quickly, is something called default matter descriptions. Legal Suite can be told to automatically create a matter description for you when you take on a new matter. If you enable the default matter description option, Legal Suite will use the client's name and the appropriate other party, for example, the defendant in the collections matter or the buyer in the conveyancing matter, to create this matter description for you. I'm going to show you in Legal Suite how that works. But this, combined with the snapshots, can make taking on your matters so effortlessly. And again, it saves you time. It ensures that your matters are consistent. They will look the same and the settings are correct. Now, this setting, first of all, to use the automatic matter descriptions, is found under the Setup menu at the top toolbar. So I'm going to go to Setup and go to Employees. Again, this is something that is set up per employee. So I'm going to go to set up employees. It's going to bring up my list of employees in Legal Suite. And I'm going to double click on my own name, Unregisters, which brings up the employee settings for my name. On the left hand side, I'm going to click on desktop because the setting is found there. It's called default matter description. And I'm going to tick there, yes, I do want to create a matter description automatically. This is going to let the program generate an automatic description for me using the client name in this separator. And in my case, I've set it to be the forward slash. So I'm going to click on OK, go out of there, and now I've told Legal Suite for my name, Unre Easters, every time I take on a new matter, please create my matter description for me automatically. Now let me show you how easy it is to take on a new matter. I'm going to want to add a new matter for Brad's Auto Shop, a client I'm doing collections for. I'm going to click on the Insert button. I'm going to fill in my client code, the BRA1. And you'll see now from my snapshot that I've set, it's remembered my fee sheet must be match court, my matter types collections, my document sets match court tariff. On the other tabs, it's remembered my collection commission settings, it's remembered my invoicing, so I don't even have to go to those tabs. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on OK. So all I've done is I've typed in my client code and I'm clicking on OK. 
because it's a collections matter, it's going to remind me that this matter needs a defendant linked to the matter, and it's going to ask me, do I want to assign this defendant now? I'm going to say yes. I'm going to select the defendant from the address book. Obviously, if he's not in my address book already, I will add him at this stage. The defendant is Brits, JJ. I'm going to select them, and I click on OK, and you'll see my math is already taken on. And there, it's got my description completed. Brad's Auto CC, who's the client, forward slash Brits, JJ, who's the defendant. Let me double click and just show you there. There's the matter description completed for you. I'm sure you'll agree it takes taking on your matters, makes taking on your matters a lot easier, a lot simpler, and you know your matters are being taken on accurately. Lastly, we're going to be looking at hotkeys in Legal Suite. Again, first of all, what are hotkeys? A hotkey is a key or a combination of keys that when you press them at one time, they perform a task more quickly than by using a mouse. Um, Let's have a look at Legal Suite. There's quite a few hotkeys from F2 ranging up to F9, plus there's a few combination keys. I'm going to just show you three ones that I feel our users can use the most because it's, um, it indicates areas of the program that get accessed the most. And then a complete list of hotkeys is available on our website. First of all, the one I want to show you is to bring up the search. Now, this button that's circled there, top right-hand corner with the magnifying glass, that's your search facility, which I'm sure you're all familiar with, and I'm sure you all use it frequently during the day. Please remember F2 brings up your search facility. So I'm going to press F2, and it will bring up my search for a matter screen. A lot easier than making the mouse movement, especially if your philosophy is to keep your head down, fingers on the keyboard, because you've got a lot of work to get through. The next one I want to show you is F3. It's being circled top left-hand side, which is, I'm sure you know, the document generator database. So that's your either your litigation or your conveyancing or your bond or your transfer database. Now, if you press F3 instead of using your mouse, it brings up your litigation database for the highlighted matter. So remember, F3 takes you straight into your docgen database. Last one I want to show you is F9, which will bring up your assembled documents. That is the little puzzle piece, top right-hand corner. So if you stand on a mat and you want to assemble documents, which again is a function that's performed in Legal Suite very frequently, if you press on F9, which I'm going to do now, it brings up your list of documents to be assembled for this matter. The nice thing about the F9 hotkey is that it can be repeated in the screen. So once you're in the assembled document screen, you can select your, your document you want to merge, and if you press F9 again, it assembles and views the selected documents for you. So I'm going to press F9 on my affidavit, and there's my document merged. So remember, F9 takes you into your list of documents available to be assembled, and F9 assembles the document for you. Like I said, a list of our complete list of our Legal Suite hotkeys are available on the article section on our website. Right, to sum up, we've looked at using snapshots to speed up taking on matters and to make it more accurate. We've looked at capturing dates quickly. We've looked at using lookup libraries to capture repetitive text. And then lastly, we looked at default matter descriptions and using some hotkeys in Legal Suite. I hope you found this informative. Have a good day.